Hi everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at some bright highlighters. Now this is a difference from a lot of the highlighters I've been looking at. A lot of them I've been looking at have been very pastel because that seems to be sort of the trend. But these puppies are kind of the opposite of that. These are the Sharpie Accent Liquid Highlighters. They actually celebrate how bright they are. So the information I got from these online, they have a narrow chisel tip. There's a notched clip that works well in three ring binders. They have a visible liquid ink supply. The ink is vibrant and brighter than standard highlighters. That's something that they actually like have as a selling point for these and that they're not supposed to bleed. I got these on Amazon. They were $9.99. I have seen them elsewhere. This 10 color set here is the full line. So they come in this like, this pack at least comes, has like a little plastic wallet. Part of me wishes that like these weren't included. I like keeping my shit in just like a bag or something or in a little drawer. And so this stuff for me is kind of like a waste of materials, but I know other people really like them. I love the design of these. I think these look super fancy. So you can see the color of the ink is in here and you can see it all the way down to like this area. They have a little hole here in the bottom, which I bet you could stick one of these on like your key ring if you wanted to carry a highlighter around with you. Here is the clip that they're talking about. It's a very, very robust clip. I don't have a three ring binder, but I have this little guy and well, with a little bit of shaking, it comes off. I imagine maybe a bigger clip would stick more. Let's look at this. Yeah, on these bigger rings, if you shake it, it doesn't come off. So that is, oh my God, trying to put things away. My desk is like, Mah! okay, yeah. So that seems to be working. The pen itself feels really nice, like kind of weighty and fancy. The cap has a spring in it that you can see kind of through the materials, but I, I don't really know what that's for. The lid goes on nice and tight and then it holds really well in your hand. The edge here where the cap meets the pen is really, really, really sharp isn't the right word, but like kinda. I don't think it's gonna cut me, but I can imagine this would feel really uncomfortable if you like pushed on this too hard with the callus. So I would just avoid doing that. So as you can see here, it looks like the uh, Sharpie is the narrowest of them all. The mild liner is slightly fatter and the Stabilo is honking fatter. And then like to look at the different line widths, that's the Stabilo. Mild liner is definitely narrower and the Sharpie is definitely narrower than that. This nib is a little soft, so I can feel a little bit of a flex, but not too much. This, they're very inky. It's still not dry yet. These are definitely not quick dry. Like, look at that. I made that like a few seconds ago and it's still not even close to, like this, this one is still wet. So these are definitely not quick drying highlighters. I'm already gonna tell you just if they all kind of look like this, if you're a lefty, not the highlighters for you because you will be smearing the fuck out of them, I'm imagining. Look at this red though. It's super fucking bright. So I wanna see how these colors look over pen. When you look at the color selection of these, some of them are labeled fluorescent colors and some of them are not. Like this red is obviously not. So I'm gonna take this red because it's a dark color and I'm gonna take one of the fluorescent ones. I'm gonna use both of those to highlight over something, see how it works. And I'm curious about smearing. They're definitely very inky. Like the whole liquid highlighter thing is obvious in terms of the smear. So I've got this written down three times. I'm using the Pentel Klena 05 because that's the pen I'm in love with right now. And I'm actually going to use this mild liner as well because I wanna compare any instance of smearing. So we've got the fluorescent orange, the red, and then the blue from the mild liners. All right, so we'll start with the red, which is a regular style highlighter. Whoa, whoa, that just went down so inky. Like I, I can't even tell if it's smeared because as I'm looking at it, I can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see like the light shining off of the ink. And then here is the orange. That one I can see a lot better. Not quite as like moist as the red, but it's still got like wetness here on the end. And then here is the mild liner. I had to look up close just to double check, but none of them smeared, including the mild liner. So even with the inkiness, they did not smear. And actually, I kind of like the way the writing looks with the red. I don't know. It's like I wrote with a dark marker. I like used a dark marker on top of it that shouldn't be a highlighter, but it's dark, but still transparent enough to be a highlighter. Translucent, I don't know. Like that's, it's kind of weird to me, but. 
whatever. I think maybe what I will do is try, because I'm curious, these, these are, the, maybe it's because I've been doing so many pastel highlighter reviews that having bright colors like this, it's tripping me out, man. And so I want to kind of see what the bright colors look like on top of stuff. So I think maybe to swatch the colors, we will do that. All right, here are the colors. They are gorgeous as usual with Sharpies. The berry color is one of my favorites. I love Sharpies berry color in their markers and their pens, whatever. This like kind of pinky magenta purple is just a gorgeous color. These are beautiful colors and the darker colors basically remind me of Sharpie markers, just slightly more transparent. They're all legible. The red is probably the least legible when you look at it, but it still is pretty freaking legible. I will say that like they're still kind of shimmering with a little bit of moist. I cannot overemphasize how slow these are at drying. It's a big thing to keep in mind. But the color selection is really nice. They don't smear. They work really well as highlighters in terms of readability. Even on this like mimnocene, mimnocene paper that I'm using right here, there's a little bit of shadowing, but honestly the pen is shadowing more than the markers. You would think with as like juicy as these are, they would be bleeding like right through the paper and they're not. Let's take a look at one with um, my Loish term paper to compare because you see some of these highlighters here from other experiments, how they're kind of bleeding through on the Loish term. I'm just gonna use the red because the red is the darkest one. So if it was gonna bleed, it would be this guy. And it comes through just as much as anything else. Oh, but look at that. It imprinted on the other side because of how wet it was. So that lets you know that A, they shadow on paper like the Loish term, and P, fuck, they take forever to dry. But they are really bright and beautiful. To that point, though, do any of them match the mild liners? Because that has been sort of one of my litmus tests for a lot of highlighters, because I know a lot of people have already bought the mild liners, especially after they became available at places like Target. So letting you know if any of these colors hella speak to you, are they already dupable? So I went through already and took a look. And I found that of them all, only two of them have matches with the mild liners. And then one of them has sort of a, what would I call it? Like a, like a, not a match, but like a cousin, if you will, which is a lot less than a lot of the other highlighters I've looked at. And again, part of this may be because they're not, they're not mild. <laughs> they're not pastel. These are, these are bright. Even the, even the fluorescents are bright colors. The two matches I have are cyan and blue, which is almost a, almost a perfect match. And then fluorescent yellow and yellow, although I will suggest that the yellow is a little less bright, just slightly less bright. And then the one that's kind of a cousin is fuchsia, which kind of looks related to the berry, but they're not, it's, it's lighter. One of the other things I do want to make note of is the fact that they said that they are brighter than other standard highlighters. Well, here is my Stabilo Boss highlighter because it happens to be close at hand. So I'm gonna put it under the fluorescent yellow. They look exactly the same to me. And then here's this green from the Stabilo Boss. They look exactly the same to me. And then here is purple. They're both pretty bright, but I would say this purple feels almost like a mixture of the purple and berry. And then we also have the Fabric Castells that I've already looked at, these are the ultra fluorescent, super fluorescent. Let's go with pink and orange. Well, the Sharpie is definitely brighter than the super fluorescent Fabric Castell. Orange, there isn't as big of a difference. I would say that the Sharpie is a little bit more fluorescent, but that the tone is the same. The reason I'm pointing this out is just because one of the claims is that these guys are like more bright than most highlighters and they're really not. What I would suggest is the colors, the red specifically is probably the most unique color in this entire set when it comes to highlighters. Not when it comes to markers, but when it comes to highlighters. This is the truest red I have seen in any highlighter pack that has red in it. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the mild liners have red. This one is the actual mild liner red the one that's called red. 
and see it's like a faded version of this and then this one is marigold which is like an orangey red and it's a little bit brighter but still this coral is gorgeous too there's a coral kind of mild liner color in here where the fuck is it markers markers everywhere coral pink and these ones are very similar. The coral is just a little bit more saturated. Ultimately, I would suggest that if pale highlighters are not your business, if you think the whole pale highlighter situation that's like sweeping the bullet journal planner world is garbo for you at least, then these might be a good one to pick up. But generally speaking, the biggest reason I would suggest to get these is if you really want something kind of in your face, and you don't have other sets that could be close to this. I think it's a nice set for what you get. The biggest drawback to these by far is how long they take to dry. If you get these, chances are until you get the hang of them, you will probably smear all over the place. And if you're a lefty, based on what my lefty kid has told me, I'm, I'm gonna show these to them when they get back from their dads and my guess is they're gonna have a big thumbs down for them. So those are the Sharpie liquid highlighters. Interesting, but not necessarily going to be something that takes over my highlighter life. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think of them. Do you see these as brighter than other highlighters? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Also, if there's anything you'd like me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments below. I will be doing a highlighter Thunderdome where I compare as many highlighters as I can to each other on a live stream with my lefty around, but that's not going to probably be until December because I still have some more highlighters I need to kind of get through. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, all the things you need to do to keep yourself safe, especially as the holidays and the winter weather where we're stuck inside comes up. Subscribe. <laughs> and until next time, friends, peace out.